Thank you. From Minnesota uh, is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and then thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, all appropriate thanks being given, uh, except for one person who deserves special thanks. I believe Congressman Maloney must feel like a, a mother giving birth. The, this bill is phenomenal. I am so incredibly proud to be a friend of hers. Let me say that I knew that we had a problem in America when my 19-year-old uh, son, who uh, didn't have a job and was a college student, kept getting solicitations for credit cards. But I was quite convinced we had a real problem when my 13-year-old son, who did nothing more than apply for a Sports Illustrated uh, 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 prescription, started getting credit, credit card solicitations. I hope some people don't have access to credit, namely my 13-year-old son. I hope some people don't get credit cards, people who uh, cannot handle credit. But credit card companies have given credit card solicitations out all over, the country, all over the country to anyone. And so it's no doubt that some people have gotten credit cards who perhaps should not have them. This legislation is about keeping good credit card companies good. Not all credit card companies engage in some of these policies that even the Federal Reserve Bank found were deceptive and abusive. Some credit card companies didn't engage in universal default. Some did. This bill sets a basis for an entire industry so that good credit card companies never have to be tempted to engage in some of these nefarious practices just to stay competitive with companies who do. I'm happy that at least nine Republicans voted for this bill in committee. They understand the wedding of good policy and good politics. My friends, this bill is popular because it makes sense for the American people. And so from a partisan standpoint, I hope I do see a bunch of red up there from the other side of the aisle. The fact that from a partisan standpoint, I hope I do see a bunch of red up there from the other side of the aisle. The fact is, is that in 2008, credit card issuers imposed 19 billion with a B, billion dollars in penalties and fees on families with credit cards. This year, the car companies will break all previous records. I yield back. I'm proud to be associated with this legislation. Thank you very much. Gentleman from Minnesota is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, don't believe that unless this Congress allows some credit card companies to abuse consumers, that no one will have credit. It's just not true. Don't believe that if we say no to double cycle billing, no to switching due dates around at, at random and arbitrary times, no to giving credit cards to, to minors, if we say no to these kind of practices, it will not drive credit in America. It's nothing but fear-based stuff that will allow credit card companies who have made record profits to continue to take advantage of American consumers. The, the Democrats and many Republicans as well are joining together to say we are on the side of the American consumer. Vote no to this bill at your own peril. The fact is, is that this, the, the, with the dis confusing disclosures that the gentleman from Texas has accurately said are present, this bill says those things are wrong. We ask everyone to join with us to say these the provisions that stop these confusing disclosures uh, should be stopped. We ask everyone in this chamber to say that no to this. The fact is, Mr. Speaker, that if we don't do something to protect the American consumer, we are abdicating our responsibility as stewards of this sacred trust of being a member of Congress. This is the time to do something for the American consumer. I yield back.